guys, it's Kendra from Crafty Kendra, and I want to show you guys today how to make the fun little pinwheel embellishment. There you go. And you'll find a card that I made using these embellishments in another video, and this is the card. So be sure to check that out. But let's go ahead and get started with making this embellishment. What we're going to do is I have a 1 and 3 8 inch square, and I use the one and three eighths inch square punch to get it. I don't have a one inch punch, but I just cut out a one inch square and I uh, use my trimmer to do that. I've already taken and I have cut diagonal lines from the corners to the center, but I have left a piece of the center uncut. As you can see, there's a nice little spot there. So we're gonna go ahead and do that to this square. Now this like I said, it's a 1 and 3 eighths inch square, and the color is Baja Breeze, and it's okay if your lines aren't that straight, and if they don't go in the same amount, so long as they're relatively close, it'll work. So I've gone ahead and cut it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to work um, towards me, I'm going to pick the int, like it's, you're going to see basically little triangles is what you get. I'm going to work on the end of the triangle that's closest to me. So I'm going to work on this edge and we're just going to use our bone folder and just kind of do a curling motion just to break the fibers on one side. Then we're going to turn it and we're going to do it to this one. You're just going to do it a few times so that it breaks the fiber so that it'll bend easy for you. Do it again. And to the last one. So then you end up with a piece that looks like that. And here's the reverse side. I'm going to go ahead and do it to the little one inch piece. And this piece is in the new In Color Summer Star Fruit. I don't recommend breaking the fibers in the whole square because I find that that makes it too too fragile and that it'll rip too easily in the next step. All right, so we have them all done and all nice and fibers broken. We're gonna go ahead and bring in our foam pad from our mat pack and my little hardback piece is MIA at the moment, so we're going to use another one that I have. All right, you're going to do is we're going to take, and I'm going to show you on the one and three eighths piece because it's large and it'll be easier for you to see. We're going to take and we're going to fold each of the corners in to the center. Now, if you want, you can use the snail and put just a little bit on the ends to hold it down. I find that it holds itself down pretty well without, so we're just going to fold it down starting with one and doing all the others. It doesn't matter where you start because all four of them are going to come down. So you're going to end up with the little pinwheel shape. I'm going to bring in our paper piercer and pierce into the center of one. And before we pull it up, you're going to see that there's the... And I'll zoom in for you guys. going to see that there's a little point there for the end of that top one. You're going to hold right next to the paper piercer and pull it out so that your nail's holding down that. And I have a regular sized silver brad and you want to make sure that you use a regular size or larger because I find that the minis are just too small and you're, it won't hold it because since we didn't use snail and you're not guaranteed to have the paper piercer go through and get them all, not every one of those wings we had down are paper pierced to be held down. but. Whenever you close it up, you want to close it up really tight. So I closed up the back a little bit. I'm just going to push down and really get as much of those backers down so I can get it really tight. And that tightness of having that brad in holds the rest of the pieces well enough, even if you didn't get the paper piercer to go through them. So there's the little pinwheel embellishment. If you do want to go ahead and add snail to the ends, that's fine. I didn't feel the need. But if you want to make sure, I would go ahead and use this nail. And I'm going to go ahead and do the one inch one. You might not be able to see it because it's so small. 
but we'll go ahead and do it since it's here. There we go. There are our little pinwheel embellishments. So many things you could use these on. And just like in the paper that inspired me from the patio party pack, they would make really cute cupcake toppers for a birthday party. Just put a toothpick on the back and you've got really cute party supplies. But that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Thanks for stopping by and I'll catch you next time.